Hi guys, I know I'm really, really close up into my eyes right now. I'm not going to zoom out. Um, and the reason why that is, is because um, I wanted to show you guys a look, but I don't want to be seen completely on camera because I'm broken out really bad right now. So I'm going to stay a little bit out of the camera for a couple of days. That way I don't have to wear like, a lot of face makeup. But um, this look is a look I've done before, but the reason why I'm doing it again is because I'm doing it again without using expensive products. So Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do in this look which is very very simple is we're gonna take a primer there's very many primers out there so you know use whatever you guys have I'm just gonna use what I have and for me that's the primer portion and I know I'm trying to recreate this look without using as many products and that's a lot of primer potion with a lot of high-end brands but um, I don't have any other primer besides like the NYX jumbo sticks but they're all like in very vibrant colors not the duo from L'Oreal Hip, I believe it's called, and this is what it looks like. It comes with these two great eyeshadows. I don't know what it's called, you guys, because mine's broken, as you can tell. So, um, just go to the store and look for the one that has the light pink color and the matte brown. The pink has a little bit of shimmer, and at the end of the video, I'll swatch them so you guys can see. And I'm taking a flat brush. Just take any flat brush that you guys have. I wish I would have used another one, but I already have this one out. And um, what we're going to do is just apply this and I'm kind of getting close to the screen because I'm using the little um, camera thing as a mirror. So just apply that. Now this, because um, I rubbed it with my finger, kind of, I don't know what's it called, but kind of waxy. So it's a little bit harder to get the product out. But just pack this color on it and leave this empty right here because you don't want to muddy up the color. So I'm just going to apply this all over the inner part of the lid. And as you now that we've added that color, you can slightly see it on the camera. <clears throat> we're going to take this brown here, um, and we're going to be replacing Espresso by MAC. Now, the colors are very different. This is a little bit more of a richer chocolate brown. The other one's a little bit more ashy. So we're just going to take that with a fluffy brush. This is the MAC 27, 230, 217. I don't even know the numbers anymore. As you guys can tell, my numbers aren't stuck on there anymore. Let's see, You can barely see it there. So, also this one's very strong, so I like to pat a little bit on my hand, so it won't go off as strong. And I'm just going to start doing circular motions here. To build up that smoke. Then once I'm doing that, I'm going to start sweeping the extra color on my lashes. Because that's going to make my lashes look darker as well. And create more of that smoky effect. You're only going to do that slightly, you're not going to do it all over the lid. Now start doing your circular motions. And you're going to start taking it into that crease. Feel free to use as much brown as you want. I'm going a little bit lighter. Because we're doing kind of like a natural daytime look. Without using too many colors that would be like in a natural palette. Now the next step to do is just to highlight our eyes. It's a really simple process. Just take any uh, matte white eyeshadow, not white, but kind of flesh tone. Sorry, my camera keeps moving a little bit. Um, I'm using the MAC one. I know I didn't want to use as much MAC, you guys, but like I said, this is what I have in my makeup kit. So that's what I have to use. So I'm just taking a little bit of that on the fluffy brush. And I'm just going to apply that underneath the brow bone. And it's also going to help blend. You want to go forward, back and forth like this. And then slightly go in circular motions at an angle. Instead of the brush. Next step is to curl your lashes. So just feel free to curl your lashes. And you guys can see how light my eyelashes are. So what I'm going to do is just curl them slightly. I'm not going to curl them a lot. If you're going to add eyelash, mess, fake eyelashes, don't curl them too much. Just slightly curl them. I'm not going to wear false lashes because it's late, so I'm not about to. So I'm going to curl them and kind of separate them with my pinky. I do that all the time. Then I'm going to take my eyeliner, and I'm using eye Maybelline Eye Studio. And this is what it looks like. Um, and I'm actually going to, I was going to use the brush, but my brush is a little dirty. So I'm not going to use a little brush. But if you guys have that brush, feel free to do it. It works amazingly. It's one of my favorite eyeliner brushes, only when it's clean now. So I'm going to be taking an angled brush like this, and it's a very thin brush. And I'm going to run the color on the bristles, and then just do... Oh. I'm 
then just do a winged out liner. And I need a mirror for this, I can't do it on that camera. Um, add mascara, your favorite brand, and I'm using Falsies by um, Maybelline. And I'm gonna give these lashes a couple co coats. So you get that full lash effect. And then also to just brighten up the eye a little bit more, we're gonna run this here. And the reason we're doing this is because we did take out one eyeshadow and that eyeshadow gave the eye a little bit more shimmer and this is going to be a lot less expensive. So for the finishing touches on our look, um, excuse this, I dropped a little bit of liner on my nose. Um, all we're going to do is just take that same brush that we started out with and take that shadow and press it right on top of that just to give that shimmer and the depth back. And guys, just for a little bit of fun, um, I wanted to show you guys a product that um, was given to me at MAC Cosmetics. This is from the Wonder Woman line that just came out, and it's just a bronze reflex, but I wanted to show you guys this really cool effect that it gives off. Um, by the way, this is what it looks like. It's just a lot of reflexes in it, and this, like, they gave me this, and that's, like, enough to last me forever but I'm gonna go back and buy it but just to give this look a little bit more of a night feel if you're gonna wear it out after work you can take a little bit of a shimmer and this is extra and just pat it onto your brush see how much it's giving it and then slightly tap that back into the brush then I'm gonna press it on to just this area just where that light color is at you're not gonna go into the dark area you're just gonna stay on to that light area I'm going to slightly press and press, just patting it. We're going to do that on the other side as well.